I have an audience and a puppy <laughs> on top of. Is this your mound now, Dasa? And you found a water bottle, huh? We have had some crazy weather. Hey you guys, it's been quite some time since I've done an update video. There's just been so much going on with the house after the tornado. In fact, I say so much going on, but really nothing going on. We're still not living in our house. We still have tarps on our roof. We had to have a structural engineer come out and uh, make sure the house was structurally okay because the patio actually lifted up and shifted um, when the tornado uh, came by. Um, it's actually sprinkling right now and we've had some really intense storms over the last three days. Um, so bad in fact that one night we just went ahead and slept in the guest room in the house because um, the wind was so scary in the RV. Thankfully the RV is fine, house is fine, there was minimal leaking because we have tarps on the roof. But the garden has been really getting overwatered. <laughs> I'm actually out here to stake up some things and do a little cleaning up. And there's still a ton to be done. Um, it's just everything's been so busy. But since the last video I did, um, there's been a ton of growth. So I thought I would show you that. Mind you, this is not done. It's June and I still don't have the garden done as far as the addition hasn't had the straw laid out and it needs to be weeded really bad. So no judgment, please. But I thought I would show you what is growing and what does look beautiful. So here in the potato, or potato bed, tomato bed, I just did some pruning. Um, may have, I may have pruned these a little too heavily, but they're really close together. So I, um, I want them to have good airflow. And with all this rain, I'm just, I don't want to deal with blight or anything like that. And then I have a couple little peppers down there. Both of those are spicy peppers. I gave in guys, I bought some. Mine have been doing horribly with all the weird weather we had in the beginning of the season. I've got some new beans down here, and then that one's doing good, and these two are struggling, but they've already put out some beans, um, I don't really know what's going on, and I clearly, I need to, uh, weed this bed, but we have some nice, big Cherokee purples coming in, some Brad Atomic grapes, uh, it's another Cherokee purple, there's a Dr. Witchy right here, those are Dr. Witchy, some more. Actually, those aren't Brad Atomic Grapes, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, though. They're the shape of it. And these are Paul Robeson over here. And then some of my cucumbers. I have several different varieties throughout the garden, but this is a Japanese long, and I've already harvested my first one off of that. And I've already made two jars of pickles, too, with pickling cucumbers. So here's another pickling cucumber and this one's just taking off like crazy I'm having to um, let it just go along the ground I don't really want to prune it though because there is a little pickle on it so I want to use that one this is where I had the sweet peas or the sugar snap peas and now I've got new cucumbers coming up on both trellises and then the kale is still going strong and I've actually Harvested the carrots that were over there and there are new um, heat resistant or heat tolerant carrots. We've got dinosaur kale and lettuces that we've been eating salad off of and this needs to be picked and given to the chicken, some Swiss chard. And then these are okra, which I planted here. I have some other ones, but I wanted to um, try and put some here and then we've got more lettuce. And honestly, I need to harvest all of that. <laughs> and then the cuckoo melons are starting to take off. They are vining on up, and let's see if I can find any of the little fruits. There's lots of little flowers, but there are a few little, oh, well, here's one, here we go. Where is it? <laughs> there it is, right there. I don't know if it'll focus, but that's a little cuckoo melon right there. And then these are cucumbers. I've got some sunflowers over there. You'll notice lots of boxes all over the place. 
That's because I used the cardboard before I put the straw down, which is what I did in here. And it keeps the grass from growing through. Oh, I have a ladybug on my arm. Hello, friend. And um, I just haven't, I haven't gotten to deal with all of this yet. Things have been crazy. Okay, over here are the purple cow peas, and they are doing awesome. Um, and they're like, they are taking off. When I first planted them, and I noticed they weren't putting out feelers, um, I call them feelers, but to vine up, I thought, oh, why did they say trellis it? And now I know why. <laughs> it's like all of this, I need to trellis this up. This is all from that plant right there. So I need to deal with that. And I've got some peppers over here. I don't know how they're uh, liking all this rain though. Look at how absolutely gorgeous and perfect looking these lettuces are. I love it. <laughs> they need to be harvested. Not all of it obviously, but oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this big guy. Wow, need to harvest that soon. And then I have more cucamelons over here. These little bugs right here, boom, there we go. And these huckleberries, I've been doing terrible. I don't know what it is about it, but the ants love it and they literally have just been eating the plant. I mean, it's driving me nuts. Um, and I've tried um, the orange guard, the BT spray, there's coffee grounds around it. They're just being little punks. Um, so lots of cucumbers in here. These zucchinis have been rock stars. I've got a basket of zucchinis in the fridge right now. Um, and honestly, this this classic, I think it's like Green Star Zucchini or something like that. They're just, I mean, they are so fruitful. Um, this is a striped zucchini. This one's doing really well. I'm going to show you uh, one of my other ones. This one was my biggest plant. Like, it, was the, it grew the fastest. But the zucchinis on it... Um, some of them just shrivel up, which I try to hand pollinate to help with that, but they're, they're like oddly shaped and stuff and they don't look the same as the other one. Somehow, I managed to not put any squash over here. I don't know how, but I did. <laughs> um, and here's another zucchini that's doing great. I give you the sad bed. We used a different soil combination in this bed and I will never do it again. I'm actually really frustrated. Oh my gosh, there's actually a bloom on this pepper. Yeah, I'm so surprised. Um, we used, we just, they didn't have the one that we had gotten before, so we just got plain old miracle Grow um, garden soil, and it's all, everything that's been planted in here has done poorly. So we're honestly thinking about taking everything out, amending the soil, and then trying again. Here's my row of okra, finally starting to take off. Don't mind all the cardboard everywhere, this is real life. But I've eaten the first one off of here and it was so good. This one will probably need to be harvested tonight. If you haven't grown okra, okra grows insanely fast. It's like squash and zucchinis. You can look at it earlier in the day and you'll have to harvest it by that night because it grows that fast. These are a new round of zucchinis and sunflowers that I planted and they're doing really good here and I have some extra tomatoes planted around and I have more to plant because I ordered more but these are green zebra look how pretty those are I notice how dirty my fingers are they're like that all summer <laughs> they're tomato fingers <laughs> she sees the cows do you see the cows Apple tree lost a lot of apples in the tornado, but we still have a few. They, they have a little hail damage, but they're they're making it. And the flower bed is doing amazing. Got a little bee over here on the dill. That's not a bee. That's a wasp. Okay, well, that's all right. <laughs> Anyways, I've already made some pickles using this dill. And I have lots of chamomile and uh, calendula. And I actually have some volunteer strawberries in here. I guess the seeds blew into here or something. I have no idea. That was the potato bed, and now it has uh, lemon squash, butternut, or butternut squash? No. Buttercup squash, and a couple others. And the herbs, I never harvested the cilantro, so 
it's flowering. My first year growing um, sunflowers and it's been really nice. And I do have some giant ones planted that are doing really good and they will have the, uh, the seeds that I'll harvest. Look at this, I've never seen a sunflower like that. I don't know why it reminds me of like a lion or something. I love it. I have noticed because it's my first year growing sunflowers, I didn't know this was a thing. But there is a type of bug that bores into sunflowers just like squashes and they like eat it from the inside out. So thankfully, I mean, these are just so strong they've made it, but um, there are several places where you can see they've gotten bored into. Um, and you know, I had to pull one of them because it, there were a lot of issues with it. The melon bed is coming along kind of, it's honestly, it was the last bed that we built. And these are just, they're just growing insanely slow. Um, I've planted melons in a, in a couple other places and I'm hoping to at least harvest a couple of varieties of melons this year and learning from my mistakes for next year. Anyways, that's just a quick little update on the garden. Definitely not where I want it to be and not where I expected to be by this time this year But the tornado really just kind of threw things off course with the garden So I'm just gonna you know roll with that punch. We've been super blessed. God has been providing everywhere we turn um, You know with the RV and um, Just so many things so I'm I'm thankful that we're being taken care of and I'm thankful for the food that is growing and the fact that we have such a long growing season, I mean, I I still have tons of room uh, to plant some more things and have lots of food this year. So we've already done two cans of pickles and I expect to do a lot more <laughs> than that. And I'm hoping for um, a lot more tomatoes as well. And I have several more tomatoes to plant. Um, so yeah, I'll do another update video maybe when I'm you know, I've got things more cleaned up and whatnot, but thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.